and staff. Today is Thursday, January 19th. I'm Helen. And I'm Giselle. We start today with some sad news. Our girls volleyball team did not win their playoff game. That means their season is over, but they did really, really well, in my opinion. Going undefeated the entire game until this last game. We look for new sports to get started. Girls soccer practice takes place today on the soccer field. Make sure your athletic packet is complete. See Coach Jabbar for any questions. Girls basketball tryouts continue today. Meet in the gym after school and wear a t-shirt, gym shorts, and tennis shoes, no tank tops, no exceptions. See Coach Garvin in room 3227A for any questions about tryouts. Next week, you get to dress up for Literacy Week. We have fun activities every day starting on Monday, January 23rd. That's when it's Beach Hat for Books Day, so wear your favorite hat. Tuesday is Treasure Tuesday. Check out a book and earn a treat from the media center. Wednesday is Whale of a Wednesday. You can wear a green or blue, sh blue school appropriate shirt to show your support for preserving our oceans and waterways. This year's Literacy Week theme. Thursday is Tacky Tourist Thursday. Dress as a tourist in school appropriate attire. And to end the week, Friday is <coughs> Fishing for Knowledge Friday. Dress like a smarty pants in your favorite nerdy outfit. It's going to be a fun week, and I, and I hear a lot of prizes are going to be given out, so get prepared. Being a nerd isn't a bad thing. Having knowledge not only helps you learn more, but it can get you a gift card. Let's watch this video that explains what you have to do to win up to $50 at Amazon. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on what time you're watching this. My name is Rashard Johnson, and I'm super excited to share with you all about our paper tutoring contest your school has been selected to participate in. From January 16th all the way through February 10th, students have a chance to win two $50 Amazon gift cards and four $25 Amazon gift cards through a raffle. To enter, students are suggested to simply log on to paper at least three times per week. I'm gonna say that one more time, at least three times per week through the district portal and use any of our paper features such as our live help, where they can chat with a tutor to get 24-7 homework, project, and studying help. To our review center, where they can submit any typed writing drafts for expert annotated feedback. To our paper live, a live interactive educational show featuring live hosts. And our paper missions, which they can practice their math skills and help rebuild Paper City. The more activities you complete, the more raffle entries you will receive. Log on to paper through your district portal to begin, and best of luck. Extra money for better grades sounds like a pretty good deal to me. News this afternoon, the Palm Springs Middle School Drama Program will be holding auditions for their spring show in just a few weeks. The show is called Around the World in Eight Plays. Tryouts take place on January 30th, with callbacks happening on January 31st. You will need to prepare a one-minute comedic monologue for the audition. See Mr. Van Meter in room 2106 for details. Members of the Diversity Club, your next meeting is tomorrow. It will be before school in Ms. Higgins' room. That's 3109, from 830 until 915. Students, in academic games... You have practice again on Monday morning before school. Meet in Mr. Mancusi's room, that's 3126. Next month, sixth graders will have a very important presentation. It's all about human trafficking. It's a very serious topic which may sound a little far away for you guys, but all middle schoolers need to know about it. Mr. Patana, our data counselor, shared this video. Check it out. talk about January is Human Trafficking Awareness Month. Today is actually National Human Trafficking Awareness Day. Tara Davis with the Community Coalition Against Human Trafficking is here to talk about some things that you may not be aware of 
thank you so much for taking time. Thank you for um, getting the word out. Okay. Absolutely. Um, human trafficking is not always what someone thinks it is. And you were just telling me in the breaks of things that made my eyebrows go up. So let's talk about some of the different things that people may not be aware of. Well, um, I think, find that one of the biggest myths is that people think that human trafficking is like the movie Taken, that it's a yes. huge international incident when really human trafficking is when someone is um, forced or coerced or um, frauded into um, a sex or a labor um, act without um, any kind of compensation. Well, not compensation, but they're right. forced into this situation. Right. And y you were saying it could be in families. It can. It could be among friends. All kinds of things. So give us a scenario, if you will, uh, of something that people may not think would be a case of human trafficking. A lot of what we see here in East Tennessee um, and across the state, because uh, human trafficking is happening in every zip code in, of the state of Tennessee. Wow. So it's not um, unique to any one area, mm -hmm. unique or to roy rural or to, um, to cities. Mm -hmm. But um, what we see is um, familial trafficking and intimate partner trafficking trafficking wherein um, a lot of times is it can be generational mm -hmm. um, where there's um, some kind of exchange for to barter for rent or for food or for safety or something mm. like that and sadly that happens with people that we know you know and, and there are signs we can watch out for sometimes they're subtle but what are, what are some of the red flags, I guess? Some of the things that you can look at, um, I don't want to single out any one thing because, sure. you know, any one thing could mean anything in any context. But yeah. some of the things that we have seen with um, those who've experienced trafficking or they don't have control of their belongings or they don't have their identification, um, they look to someone else to answer um, questions or they look down, um, bruising that may be at various stages of newness or oldness. Um, maybe they wear their clothes repeatedly. Mm -hmm. um, those kind of things when put together can make someone kind of um, think that maybe there's something, something more going Something not on. quite right. Okay, yes. we're almost out of time. Here's a big question. What can we do to help w without endangering that person even more? The biggest thing that we can do as a community is raise the awareness. Um, human trafficking is going to exist in places where there's quote unquote darkness, um, where people aren't recognizing a vulnerable person and stepping in to um, remove those vulnerabilities. Um, so awareness is the biggest thing. We never want anybody to interject themselves into a situation, right. but visit our website, ccaht.org, and we okay. have hotline numbers on there if someone suspects something that they can call. Thank you so much for all you do. We appreciate it. And be sure to check out that website. The presentation where you will learn more about that topic takes place on February 2nd and 3rd hour. It's sadly going back to our typical Florida heat. It was great while it lasted. How do you feel? Um, I mean, I like the cold. You know, I honestly didn't want it to end because it felt really nice. The breeze was nice. But let's check in with Layla and the PSTV Weather Center to see what she says. Thanks, anchors. I hope everyone enjoyed the nice, cool weather while it lasted, but sadly it's over. Today's weather is a high of 83 and a low of 63. Now back to the anchors. From weather to space, today we have a science fact for you. Courtesy of Ms. Vecchio. Do you know the planets in order? Remember this sentence. My very educated mother just served us nachos. Using the first letter of each word from that sentence can help you remember the order of the planets. M-V-E-M-J-S-U-N. That's Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Well, students, that's all for today. Hope you hope the rest of the day was out of this world. Stay tuned for today's birthday. Bye! I'm with you.
go against skin and like this little skeet old dirt on beats. I put it in for you, I spin for you, whatever you with, I'm with it. How you gonna cross the that I'm rocking with? I got you lit in the city. I've been multitasking, rapping and being a daddy to my little children.